all right car people um so the 3g msd is finally installed completely and it works and the two-step is working so i was going to give you guys a walkthrough of how it's hooked up but first if you guys need decals made i make custom decals now any color any size any shape i even do custom stuff so that's one of my faves my son decided to put godzilla on here last night so i'm also in the process of getting a little further i pulled the pillars today and i pulled the uh, headliner tomorrow i'm going to be taking out the entire sunroof and putting in plexiglass and uh tomorrow evening is the track so as far as the msd goes all right so i mounted it here uh did have to cut all the little bolts that were sticking out there um let's go through some wiring here so blue wire is your trigger for your uh two-step so the blue wire once it receives 12 volts bam your two steps working uh i use the um guide on club 3g but they had the 6al not the 6al2 so it's a little different everything is the same except for the white wire hookup uh on the 6al2 this wire it looked white to me because it's dirty and i scratched it and it turned white and on the edge it looks white but it's actually gray um so this white wire is your signal wire from the tack i need to put the tape on there but so that white wire goes to the uh, distributor plug white wire and then you got in this deal over here in this bunch um let's see your red here the thin red thin red goes to your black and white from the the distributor it's right there at the heat sink what you got to do though is you got to cut the black and white completely in half as you see it's not hooked up on this side anymore uh and you got to splice this to the red this thin red going towards the ecu so that's going to tell that guy to fire instead of your coil inside your distributor to fire <clears throat> you do not want them firing at the same time next uh there's a orange and a black wire inside this black sheath here and those go right here you have to get a msd blaster ss coil uh so those go here and here on these two prongs uh to the coil and then the coil has a coil wire and it goes down to the distributor cap that i put in my uh well i guess this is the same video so yeah goes to the cap that we installed now there is clearance for the battery still so um what else is there okay and then there's power so the power i thought this was power the power is these thick red wires the thick black and the thick red are power and negative you do not ground to your chassis you have to ground to the battery so i ran them around here and i got the red here and i got the negative here so still trying to figure out what to do with this i think i'm gonna put a small shot on it like an oh shit shot um and that's it it runs it works uh the only issue i have is that the um the two-step the tack doesn't work when the two steps activated for some reason so i'll show you guys it working inside and i'll show you it working outside the car i also where is my key i also hacked off <clears throat> well i took off my cat back so right now i just have the pipe here and tomorrow I'm gonna cut that a little shorter and do a pipe that goes out to the side. Until then, it's just open. All right, let's see. I need to take off this eBay alarm. Oh, I gotta take this stuff out. Getting really serious with the weight reduction. All right. Go. Starts right up.
So right now I got it set to 4,500. Um, I don't want to do it too, too much right now because I still need to log and send it to my tuner and make sure it's doing the stuff I need it to do. But that's it. That's the setup for the 6AL2 on the 3G clips. So uh, hopefully we'll be at the track tomorrow with it. My ears hurt now. Yeah. And y'all hit me up if you need stickers. Peace.